Joel Freidman, CEO of Corsell Exploration Inc. We are traded on the CSE under the ticker symbol CRCL. I'm joined by my colleague and CFO, Keith Lee. Um, and we're rounded out by, a, well, I guess before I even speak to the team, we've got the peak property. It's in Vancouver Island, British Columbia. It's got its perspective for gold and silver. So we're an early stage precious metals play. We will also look at other transa property transaction opportunities as they arise. And we're backed by a very savvy, experienced mineral exploration and capital markets team. Myself and Keith got Oliver Friesen as VP of exploration and on the board. He's previously run CSE listed gold companies. Our board is rounded out by Stephen Dunn, who currently runs a publicly traded copper company and has years and years of mineral exploration experience, as well as capital markets experience in portfolio management, sales and trading. The board's rounded out by Patrick Morton, who's London, UK based used to be an equity research analyst at Precious Metals teams at multiple large financial institutions and currently running a merchant banking operation. So that's the team and the property. I'll turn it over to Keith. Uh, Keith Lee, CFO of Corsell here. Just a little bit of uh, information on the financials. Uh, from our last published set of financials uh, from September 30th, uh, we have a pretty healthy balance sheets with over 150,000 in working capital. Uh, since then, in early December, we completed our IPO. We raised more than half a million dollars of funds. Uh, so right now, we have a working capital of uh, close to half a million dollars. Uh, right now, we are working on our Q2 financials for the period ending December 31st. We expect to have it uh, finalized and posted uh, hopefully by early February. Uh, stay tuned for that. We expect to uh, continue to have good results. And we'll be running exploration as soon as uh, we can get back out to our property this year, doing some soil sampling and other early stage exploration on the peak property in 2022. Hi, I'm Fong Din. I'm CEO and chairman of Mijam Newcom Tech Inc. Uh, we're excited to announce that we are publicly listed on the CSC under ticker MJEM. Uh, we are a social marketplace uh, technology company where our objective is to connect Gen Zers with other Gen Zers to help them facilitate intra-community transactions. Whether that is they're looking to buy and sell uh, textbooks, electronics, furniture, or find roommates or find a rideshare, our platform is there to help connect these members of the Gen Z community. I'm Braley Davis, CEO and co-founder of Planet Based Foods. Really excited to be here and working with the CSD, uh, bringing our company public and our mission and the goal to bring viable food systems to the masses via hemp. So we aim to be a pioneer in the space of creating superfoods for people um, that uh, not only have diet restrictions, but have uh, goals of enhancing their overall uh, diet with performance foods. So we've created IP around meat alternatives non-dairy alternatives, shelf-stable and frozen products, as well as grab-and-go items that are going to be coming down the pipeline through plant-based foods. And we're thrilled to be able to showcase them via the medium of hemp. Um, the mission and goal around hemp was to harness it because it is the most sustainable protein source we see on the planet. So we, we really wanted to harness something that can work with the farmers um, and, and be something that's viable for the next 10, 20, 30 years as other crops like soy and corn are hindered by drought and soil depletion. So looking at the bigger picture, our company really honed in on hemp and we took it one step further and went and met all the farmers um, here in the United States. And uh, we have great supply chain relationships from the seed through processing all the way to our manufacturing plant which is something I don't think any company really in our space um, has, especially in the, in the hemp world when it comes to food. So we are thrilled to be able to have such a strong foundation built around this company and to showcase it, um, especially the depth of product and, and the goal of feeding people, um, feeding people nutritionally and cost effectively and into the future. Hi, my name is Nick Kadish, founder and CEO of Farmala Biotech. Farmala is an MDMA company. Uh, we manufacture, research, and develop uh, generic MDMA, which we sell to folks who are doing clinical trials, as well as the next generation of MDXX class compounds. So that would be molecules that are analogs of MDMA. We're driven by the belief that MDMA can treat a wide variety of mental health disorders. 
and we look forward to bringing forward data on uh, beneficial toxicology from our novel molecules uh, very, very soon. We're listed on the CSC under the ticker symbol MDMA. Thank you very much, and we're happy to be here. Thank you for tuning in to another newly listed on the CSE. Please feel free to hit like and share this content and hit subscribe if you haven't already.